Hello, welcome back. My name is Andrei and uh, nice to see you in my channel. Uh, today tutorial will be about Hugging Face and PyCharm. Uh, you know, for some of the Hugging Face model to run them locally, you need to install dependencies and other Python libraries. And sometimes these libraries, they don't run on macOS or on Windows, and for example, they run only on Linux. And uh, to make this work, uh, I'll show how you could uh, use a remote uh, Python interpreter in PyCharm. So the idea is that uh, uh, in the first step, you will uh, create a Docker image with all the dependencies required to run a uh, Hugging Face model. And then you could uh, uh, attach this uh, Docker image to PyCharm and uh, set it to be used as a remote interpreter. So later when you run Python script in PyCharm uh, with remote interpreter, um, uh, behind the scenes, a uh, container will be created and this container will be used to execute your Python script and when script execution will be completed, then container will be destroyed. So every time you run the script, new container will be created. And this is uh, very useful because uh, it would allow to run any model on your own machine and you don't need to install all the dependencies into your Python virtual environment, but you could uh, install them in Docker container and easily drop this con drop this container and image at any time. And also it gives you platform independence because uh, you could run Linux specific uh, libraries in Linux container on your macOS machine. Okay, so let's uh, uh, jump to my screen and let's start the tutorial. So I'll be using uh, uh, model which is available on Hugging Face, which is called Layout LMV2. This model uh, can process uh, documents, uh, pictures of the documents or scan documents, and it could assign uh, labels like equation, answer, or header to different elements of the form. And uh, this, the idea of this model is to help to understand the structure of the document. And if you go to the Hugging Face spaces, there is a, a demo application. Uh, which uh, you could run. For example, you could upload uh, invoice and process that invoice. And there is a files and versions section. And the main script which is being used by this demo is app.python script. And uh, over here you have all the uh, code that it actually executes and using this uh, model. So uh, my idea was to take this um, uh, example and to run it locally. And yeah, before you could run it locally, you need to install dependencies. And let's see what are the dependencies here. So we can, this one in package txt, tesseract OCR, uh, package is installed, that's one dependency. Then under requirements txt, we have uh, another set of dependencies, uh, tensor transformers library, one of them, then datasets, numpy, and, uh, and so on. And if you open the script itself, you will see that uh, this uh, another library is being installed. And then this uh, PyTorch, PyTorch uh, version 1.8 with Torch Vision is installed. And there's a command uh, which says that this specific version was installed because it works with uh, another library, which is called Detectron 2. And Detectron is a Facebook uh, library, which uh, helps to uh, ident identify objects in, in a document. And this, uh, this specific library, it doesn't work on Mac OS, Mac OS and there's a distribution for Linux. So probably you could build from source uh, from Mac, for Mac OS this library if you would, would like to, but it's much easier to run it on Linux environment. So this was the motivation for me why I decided to create a um, Docker image uh, with all the uh, libraries that are required to run the model and use it as a remote interpreter in PyCharm. Okay, so now let's switch to uh, my application and the source code to this application, uh, URL to the source code I'll post below the video. So the idea is that first thing, uh, we need to build a Docker image where we would have all the depend dependencies that we would need to run uh, the, the script, which uh, can take the uh, document, do the call the model, uh, get back the result, process the results, and uh, produce the resulting image. And yeah, to, uh, of course, we can build this image uh, using Docker file. And this is the main thing, Docker file, where we list all the dependencies and we install all the things that uh, into the Docker image that we need to uh, to run uh, layout LM model. 
<coughs> so first of all, we install the Zrakt OCR, then we install all the libraries uh, listed under requirements, and then the same like an example on Hugging Face Spaces, we install Torch 1.8, then we install Detectron, and a few more, one more thing we call uh, setup uh, script. Uh, we copy it and we, we run it. And if you look into the setup script, what we uh, have here, we have uh, we, we reference um, uh, hacking face models. Uh, this one layout LM model uh, processor and uh, also token classification. Uh, so what you do here first, we load. Uh, uh, processor model which can uh, processor object which can help to uh, encode uh, uh, the information from the document and then we load the model itself that's one thing and another thing uh, the sample uh, code is also using uh, funds d data set and we load this data set as well and the trick is why we do this uh, because um, we don't want to uh, spend because when we use remote interpreter every time when we run our script new container will be created so we don't want to load hugging face models and um, uh, tokenizer, tokenizers each time when we create a container. We want to, to do it once when the image is created. So this will save a lot of time uh, on each run because it would not load this data each time when container is created. So we uh, load uh, everything during image creation. So uh, model and data sets uh, and an encoder will be there in the image. And later when we run container, uh, all the stuff will be reused. Okay, so we have uh, we have basically image, and uh, we can check. I already uh, created this image, uh, and this is the, this is the one with all the stuff included. It's four point seven gigabytes, and if you check uh, containers, this uh, helper container from PyCharm is being installed in in the Docker environment. Okay, so uh, now uh, if you would like to add a remote interpreter in uh, in PyCharm, you usually you could go to uh, you could select current interpreter and uh, here you can say add new interpreter. And if I select this option, you could select uh, Docker and um, you specify the server uh, Docker and specify image name which you would like to use. And this means later when you click run uh, on your script, then uh, PyCharm will use uh, this image uh, to create container and use that container context to execute the script. Okay, and I already have uh, uh, the remote interpreter is already enabled in my PyCharm instance, so I don't need to do it anymore. Okay, so now uh, I could try to run it. So I could go to main script, and this is the input invoice and because I already was testing in this output invoice, right? So I could uh, uh, I could delete this one. So we could generate a new file, right? And then I click um, run. And now if I go while it runs, I could go and uh, select, I could see that new container was created and uh, using this container, main script will be uh, initialized and executed. So let's go under run. It starts. Uh, usually takes few seconds, and we should see soon. We should see then the outcome. Yeah, and by the way, what this main script does, it uh, does it uh, loads uh, the image, sample image, then it calls uh, process document function. And uh, in the process document function, uh, we actually refer to, to the processor and to the model. Right, and processor and model are initialized when script just is loads, and because we included um, both processor and model. Uh, okay, it's running. There's some message printed. Okay, I think it can be ignored. Okay, it was uh, it was executed in around three seconds and. 
the resulting image was created so we can open it and we can see that document was labeled so we have uh, labels uh, questions and uh, values that belong to those labels are uh, marked as answers yeah it took um, some seconds but uh, execution was successful and it's it's running on your local uh, environment and the, the the great thing is that you could also do debugging uh, so you can for example set a breakpoint and you can run in the same way like uh, you, we were just executing the script you could debug the script so this gives you a lot of um, flexibility flexibility and power because you could do debugging of your uh, local code when you use the uh, those hugging face models right and uh, what i was saying is that uh, we load processor and model from the local image because once container was created a container contains all the uh, artifacts that were included into the image and it doesn't need to download uh, hanging face model from scratch because it's uh, the, the around 800 megabytes I think and, and it takes time when if you would uh, download uh, every time when uh, when container is initiated and now if I would go to terminal and list the images I see that this temporary image is gone okay now for example if I uh, go to the function and over here we do if I set a breakpoint and then I I set to run debugger right so when it starts uh, it's, it still takes some time but uh, it's still way faster uh, comparing uh, if you would uh, download uh, hugging face model every time it's some uh, in initialization is going on uh, but it's uh, it's still I think it's acceptable right okay so now let's wait a few moments okay this time this this time it it, uh, it started faster actually and it's already uh, we reached our breakpoint and then we can debug it we can go step by step for example through each line we get predictions uh, boxes and so on and then let's uh, skip it and the process is completed okay so uh, the idea was to give you this quick tutorial to uh, understand how to run a hugging face model uh, with complex dependencies that cannot be installed uh, installed on your own environment uh, how to run with remote interpreter with all the artifacts and dependencies packaged into the docker image and then uh, PyCharm creates a new uh, container every time when you run your script and it allows you to run the script and uh, what is the most important is it allows to debug uh, your uh, own custom logic um, and th this would allow you to find the bugs and uh, uh, implement the solution uh, faster and easier so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye